Hello. Um, question I hear sometimes, or more like a comment of people that do a little bit too much skull training. Uh, can it be harmful? Or uh, can it be too much? Of course, you know, like, please stay sane. Of course, it can be too much. I would personally, this is not whim, this is me. I would personally stick to two minutes. If you want to train more, do the dipping. Two minutes in, get out for two to five minutes, do the horse stance, heat up, get back in. This is for your uh, cardiovascular system, a way better training than just staying for 10 or 20 minutes or whatever. And so, um, please, the cold is a stressor, take it seriously. Just stick to two minutes and dip in and dip out. You know, so of course, cold training can be dangerous if you just push through. Don't want to be like Wim, please. You know, he's an amazing guy, but what he has done, he has like, I don't know, 45 years of training. Can you imagine? You know, like I've been training for, I think five, seven years, maybe. So, you know, you don't want to be like him. You want to be like yourself. You want to find out what works for you. Now, what I heard a few times is, you know, people, starting the Wim Hof method, starting doing cold training, uh, taking ice bath, and they get this primal feeling of happiness because endorphins and dopamine is released during and after an ice bath. You know, and of course, maybe you've heard of this, this statistic that if you do two minutes ice bath, only two minutes, up to six days later, you find less inflammation and more white blood cells. White blood cells, direct protection against viruses and bacteria that don't belong in your body. Um, of course, less inflammation is also a good thing, right? Now, um, a few times, like three, four, five times, I've heard that, you know, comments of people on YouTube uh, videos, that they have like a dip. So they're building up their cold training, they're feeling amazed and suddenly poof, First of all, we all have this, you know, and the real growth is not where you go like this. It's where you go like this and you go down, you feel like a loss of energy. And uh, a friend of mine even felt he did three ice baths a day. He felt that he got inflamed. Now, a feeling, right? No statistical evidence here. But the real growth is when you have had it with whatever, breathing, cold training, you really don't feel like doing it and keep on doing like little, little bits. You know, this is where the real training is. When we have a dip, you know, and in the stock market, we have this saying, in a market crash, the boys and the men are distinguished from each other. Yeah, so um, you only know how you, your personal development is when you have a dip, when everything is good, you know, like good relation, enough money, wh whatever, health, everything is good. It's very easy to be happy. But are you, can you be happy when something is off? You know, so that's the first thing. So respect a dip whenever it comes and keep on training, but really lightly. Like if you do like ice bath daily and for s some reason or some feeling you've had it, stick to the cold shower for like 30 or seconds or one minute, baby steps. Yeah, and um, I've, I've heard, of, as I said, I've heard a few times that people have done too much. Now, the cold is a stressor, it's like running. Yeah? And sometimes when you're running, you get an injury or whatever, you've gone a little bit too far. Now, um, trust your feeling, I would wanna say. You know, like if you are like totally addicted to, cold training or whatever, you know, be aware of that. And whenever you have a dip or you're building it up and it's different than last week, take a step back, please. The cold is a stressor, take it seriously. It's righteous, you know, as Wim says, it's, it's like um, very righteous, very honest, and there's no space for BS. That's my addition to Wim, you know, like in an ice bath, you can only be in the now, and that's the beautiful thing. But, um, well, if you do too much, you can hurt yourself. And I don't mean only 20 minutes, you know, like stick to two minutes, but also, you know, sometimes your body has had it 
I truly believe this is a detoxing effect. You know, I, I spoke to a guy yesterday, a Brazilian guy, who did the breathing and some cold training and he was sweating the whole day. Is this normal? Well, it's a detoxing effect. So my, my question back was like, um, my guess is that you haven't been living like very healthy for the last 10 years. And of course that's the case. And he was dropping weight, you know, like that's all normal. But whenever a, a funny thing is happening, whether you feel inflamed, whether you feel an energetic dip, one, take it seriously, keep on training, take a step back, two, drink lots and lots of water because it's probably a detoxing effect. All right, um, that's it. Talk to you soon. If you like this, please hit that like button. Subscribe to my channel if you like this free content. Talk to you soon.